Welcome to another video that explores Forest Pack's built-in effects. This time we'll explain a really handy option that allows you to automatically rotate objects scattered with Forest Pack so that they face down the slope of a surface. You might find this useful when scattering crowds that are walking down slopes or in this case if you're scattering buildings on a hill or mountainside and you'd like to automatically face them towards the view towards the bottom of the hill. We'll start with a basic scene. It's a simple setup so I won't go over every forest setting. I have a chalet that I'm scattering and the pivot is set to the base at the back where it will stay connected to the hill. I'll assign a couple of surfaces and then set the direction slider to up. I'm going to go to the areas rollout and disable the surface option. This is so that we can paint the buildings just where we want them. Next I'll add a paint area, change the brush size to something a bit larger and start painting to add houses. I have a lake here so I'll paint some houses around the banks along the nearby slopes. To make it clearer which way the objects are facing you can go to the display rollout and change the proxy mode to arrow. As you can see they're currently all pointing the same way. To make them face down the slope we'll use the face downhill forest effect. To add it go to the effects rollout and click plus. Click the wand to open the effects browser and then select and load face downhill from the transform folder. That's all you need. This effect uses the surface normal of the polygon under the scattered item to determine the direction of the downward slope and aligns the object accordingly. If you still want a bit of randomization on top of that, you also have a couple of options here. You might be thinking you could have done a similar thing with a look at target, and in the case of a regular, relatively circular lake, you'd be right. But this technique's got real advantages with a landscape that's less radially symmetrical. For example, in the background I have an S-shaped stretch of terrain. If I paint an area to add buildings to that, you can see that they automatically align to the downward slopes as expected. As you can see, it takes just a few seconds to add this effect in Forest Pack, but it could save a lot of time manually rotating individual objects. This is just one of the many effects included in Forest Pack and will continue to release more tutorials covering others, so stay tuned and in the meantime, please feel free to let us know in the comments if there's a new effect you'd like to see added.